Welcome to Statler and Waldorf from the balcony on Movies.com. I'm Statler. And I'm Waldorf. And frankly, I can't believe this show is still on the air. Uh -huh. I thought we'd be canceled by now. Yes, or at least they would have replaced you with Kelly Ripa. <laughs> uh, spicy. Mm. Will you snap out of it? Mm. I'm still here and we've got a show to do. Sorry. On today's show, we'll be previewing the new adult comedy, The 40-Year-Old Virgin. Mm. 40? Double it and that could be you. Uh <laughs> Pepe will stop by with the latest DVD reviews. Yes, and we'll have another balconism. Up first is the new horror movie from Wes Craven, Red Eye. In Red Eye, Rachel McAdams boards an airplane and finds a terrifying surprise. Yeah, the in-flight movie is The Island. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Take a look. Mm. The name's Jackson. Lisa, so what do you do? As fate would have it, my business is all about you. I'm not sure where you're going with this. J.R. Joe Reisert. Your father? Where did you get that? Grabbed it off your dad's desk next to your graduation picture. You tell the flight attendant and your dad dies. What can I do for you? She's just had a really rough day. A death in the family. Red Eye. Mm, you know, Rachel McAdams is really on a hot streak. Yeah. First there was Mean Girls, and then The Notebook and Wedding Crashers. If she wasn't on the verge of stardom, Red Eye would be a one-way flight direct to the video store. <laughs> Good <laughs> point. Well, Killian Murphy, who played Scarecrow in Batman Begins, once again plays the bad guy in Red Eye. It's nice to see a pretty boy as the villain. You know, it sort of gives us old crusty guys a break. <laughs> uh, it was a guy? Yeah. I thought it was Hillary Swank doing her boys don't cry bit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say we rate this jive turkey on the Bobby Brown scale? Uh, new edition years being the best and in jail reality show years being the worst. Well, I'd say Red Eye looks mediocre, like when Bobby did that song for Ghostbusters 2. Mmm, interesting choice. Well, to me, it looks like a train wreck. Like when Britney Spears covered my prerogative. <laughs> oh, and now, here's Pepe with his usual load of gibberish. Can't understand a word he says. Hola, movie freaks. This is Pepe live from the Hollywood Boulevard, okay? And I'm here with the latest things to shove in your DVD thingy, okay? <laughs> so, first up, Sin City. Yes, yes, this is my kind of town, okay? The women are fast, the men are tough, and Mickey Rock's face is hidden by prosthetics. <laughs> also out on DVD is Beauty Shop. Now this one stars my Muppets Oz co-star, Queen Latifah. Do you know she loves me because I'm a king prone, okay? I'm just waiting to get together with her and make some heirs to our throne. <laughs> and finally, A Lot Like Love is out on DVD. Now this film stars Ashton Kutcher and Amanda Peet. Now, uh, I heard this film's financiers had a choice. Make a lot like love, or put eight million dollars in a pile and set it on fire. Sorry, fellas, wrong choice. So, this is Pepe, live from the Hollywood Boulevard, with your DVD reviews. In your local cineplex is a little movie called The 40-Year-Old Virgin. The 40-Year-Old Virgin stars that uh, guy from that one movie? Uh, yes, yes, uh, what's his name? From, uh... From those TV shows. I love that guy. Yeah, uh, he's great. Here's the film. Yeah. Are you a virgin? Oh, you are hilarious. Mmm, <laughs> this is good. You're a virgin! How can you go 40 years and not have sex? I just kind of stopped trying. We gotta help the man. We can't not let you go on being a virgin. Oh, I'm sorry. You gotta highlight your attributes. Just wax that whole Teen Wolf thing off. No! Can we close that? Ah! Ooh, I got waxed one time. Yes. Two hours of misery. And that was just my ears. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna celebrate. Hey, you! Let's get out of here. Hope you have a big trunk. Because I'm putting my bike in it. <laughs> yeah. The 40-year-old virgin. This movie is completely ridiculous. Nobody would be a virgin still at 40. Right. Yes, I mean, right. That's totally, totally ridiculous. Yeah, right. <sighs> Hollywood's made so many movies about sex, it's nice to see them make a movie about no sex. Yeah, this is the first film to tackle the serious issue of adult virginity. But not the first one to cause it. I'm talking to you, Lord of the Rings. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so, on the Bobby Brown scale... I can't wait to see this movie. New edition years all the way. Me too. This movie is Steve Carell's Cool It Now. Uh, Who's Steve Carell? 
Ah, oh, forget it. It's time for today's balconism. Today's balconism is doggy dar. This refers to the innate ability of the family dog to sense an evil person in their midst, even when everyone else is completely oblivious. Yes, like those German shepherds in signs. <laughs> Start the music. Uh, uh, thanks for checking out Statler and Waldorf from the balcony on movies.com. On the next episode, we'll review the best moments from this summer's movies. Should be a short episode. Oh. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. See, See you next, next time. time. <laughs> Where's that dog? Hmm. There he is. Oh! 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 Stop it!